What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Herodus talking here, and today I'm gonna tell you in this tutorial how to set your PC up to get ready to do your analysis genies. So I will show some topics, and I will show how to you have to do it in your computer to get the genies ready to go and fully loaded to use it to process your data. Okay, so let's go. First things, as I am in Brazil, our decimal uh, symbol to divide number from, from the decimal part of it, in Brazil, we use a comma. If you are in the United States or any country that adopts its systems, like to measurements and anything, you should have a dot. So if I have a comma as my decimal symbol, I must change it to a dot. So all the calculations in the softwares, like any statistical software, will be right. If I leave it with comma, I may have some problems and I may get some wrong answers from the from the software I'm using, in this case, Genius. So how I do it, you can go to your computer control panel and change it. And in Genius, it has a, a kind of uh, shortcut, and I will show you it now. So here I am in Genius. How do I know if I have a comma or dot as my uh, the small symbol. I go here. I will change it to English first. English. I go, I click here in utilities and then I go to settings, control panel, and it will show me lots of settings in my computer. And I want to see this one. This small your system. It's like example. Five divided by four. One dot twenty five. If your computer has a comma. As a decimal symbol, it will be 1, 25. So my computer is ready to go. If you, your is not, you just click in this globe here. And it's a shortcut to this. Here there is like uh, the some configurations for the time configuration, how to see the time of computer, and all this kind of stuff. And you click here in like, more configurations. If you, your computer is another language, I don't know how it will be written, but will be this button. And here I have my decimal symbol. It's written in Portuguese here, as you can see. And I have to set set it to dot. And here in this part, uh, I have to set a, a symbol to do my groups like thousands, millions, billions, and I put here a dot. And here a comma. Once I'm done it, I can press OK, OK. I can close this window and open again. If I had a comma before, when I open, it should be a dot here. So I'm done with it. The second thing, it's Genius. It does a lot of uh, analysis using our software so first install our software in your computer in this part i will use this part a little bit like the pathway show genius where your files but don't worry we'll get, we'll get there soon let's go to our integration let's go to genius here is genius once i'm i know what kind of analysis in once I know where is it, I must go to it and click like start experimental statistics. And I can see here some R symbols. Anywhere I see a symbol like this, it means that I need this software to use the analysis. You can see there is a lot of R. R is for R software and M is for MATLAB. You must have MATLAB in your computer to use this analysis. If I go, if I open any of it, it will show here R. Here 
where is the script in your computer is that folder I told you guys datos you had to copy in c dot slash and here it shows the dependency I must have this xpdes package installed in R if I don't I just click in any of uh, genius processes I'm an ANOVA now but it doesn't mean which one you have this symbol if I click here automatically genius will install the package for you you're gonna see now I will click and there you go it opened this prompt window and if, I, if I, my internet is okay genius will just download and install the package for me if I see any error here it's by two reasons maybe genius is not finding R in your computer or you never used R in your computer if genius is not finding your computer you must come here hit say trilha it's like path it's, uh, here I say the, to the computer where are my files if I click here I also have this PDF reader in R script if I don't know where is it I can click here in this interrogation mark okay it set the brow internet browser as my PDF reader and I must tell, tell the computer where is, where is R as well so I'll click it will take a while but it found it here is my R so this problem is solved the second problem you must have when you you can have when you're trying to install a package is that you never use it R so your computer does not have a folder where it will install the packages so if you have this problem just open R for the first time and you put like this install.packages and put like any package here you, I will put sp -des. and there is it presenter and the computer will ask you do you want to create a folder for it to say yes as I've done this before, it won't ask me if I present it. It will just ask me the mirror. If you say yes to create the, 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 this folder, the next window you're going to see is this to select a mirror. So I'll just cancel it. And then you can cancel it after and close it. Now your genius should be able to install the package for you. And as you could see, Genius has a lot of integrations, not only with R, but there is with like your PDF reader, with MATLAB, there is another Brazilian software, Seligan, which makes like genetic breeding analysis using like Raymond Blup uh, approach. And the next set you must know how to do is how to show genius where is your files so i will show you the way i do every day and i believe it's one of the easiest ways to do if i am in genius i can click here and here path i can click to the pattern and it will show you the datos folder or you can type your path here or you can just click and click and click and find where is your data the way I do is not like this, it's easier I just open where is my, my files I, let's see I wanna process this data here I just come here, I click here where is, there is no text, text is in the windows and here it showed my path I copied Ctrl plus C I go to Guinness and I come here, I erase it and press Ctrl V and there is it. I can see here my address of my files. If I press back, I can see I have this, the address I just type it, ready to go. So if I'm going to any analysis, I press here, it will show all the available data in that folder I just set it as my path. As you can see, there is one one file that Genius can process. Datos.txt.
Once you've done it, you set it, your decimal symbol as dot, your R is OK. R is only if you're going to use uh, any processment that needs R. You can do all the other processments without R, OK? You set it, your R, you put it, you set it, your path the, to the folder you're going to put your files. You can now use some examples of genes. Remember, guys, when I told you that Dados folder, you put it in c.slash. Here's a lot of examples. These examples are going to be your friends. They're going to show you how to set your, your, like, your Excel files, how to, to put the right orders in your columns to get to genius recognizing a column to be your treatments, a column to be your your replications in another column to be your variables you measure in the field or whenever, wherever you did. So I want to do a ANOVA in a fully randomized design. It's this option. It's written in Portuguese here in Teramente Awa Caso, but let's go. When I open any window in in Genius, I will see a thing like this. All of them are very similar. And I have these buttons here. I will talk about you. It's not a big deal what they do. But these two is very important. This close any windows. If I click close, it will close. And this is the one I want to talk to you about. This is uh, the example. If I click it in any analysis, it will open the example files from that folder data I told you. Once I called the example, I can setting, I can click in setting of patterns, and I can see a genius asked me variables, genotypes, and number of controls. In this case, for like if I have a control treatment, but I don't, as you can see. I can click in this hand, it will read my, my file, if, if my file is okay, it will fill these boxes just fine. If I don't know if it's okay, I just skip it and click in read that data. And I can see here, I have a uh, first column, second column, and one, two, three, four, five columns. Every time I'm gonna, I will I'll be back to this part setting of par parameters this shows me how i should organize my columns i always how do i do this i always is, skip this first one and i look in this direction number of genotypes so my or treatments my first column should be uh, the treatment columns number of control should be i'm sorry the, in this case, you just have genotypes. So the next one should be your replications. And then this one, variables. So number of genotypes, replications, and variables. If I go to another uh, experimental design, like a fully randomized blocks, I open here. As I told you, I have this yellow triangle. I call the example setting of pattern. Here I have number of genotypes, blocks, and variables. So my first column should be genotypes of treatments, the second my blocks, and the third my variables. If I click read data, there is it. Genotypes of treatments, blocks, and all my five variables. Okay. If I go to any other, I will click in any one of the. If I click it. It called it it called like a mad dot data. It's me. It means you're gonna. I'm gonna show you these files later. What they mean? It's mad. It's like a like a matrix where I have the variables of my treatments, the all the average values for all my treatments. So with these examples, I guess you guys are ready to. Organize your files and do your analysis. Once my file is okay, I should not call the example but my data. 
here and I just set my parameters I set my parameters and once I get it done I can press process like an Innova it's asking me if I have some control I, I said not and that is it there is my my output in here every time I, I close the variance analysis it asks me if I wanna uh, save some files as this one variance and covariance phenotypics and it's called C F E F E is like for phenotype in Portuguese and C is like for covariance G E is for genotype genotypic covariance in R E is like for error in Portuguese we say like residual covariance correlations there is this R a small R for the correlation matrix and here you see there's F E G E in re R E for like phenotypic genotypic and residual and here the means and variance you wanna save like a uh, Mexico is where you have the average values of all your treatments, including the number of replications, not including the numbers and variance with genotypes, including the numbers of variations. So if I click it and I click, click it, mark all or just select some of them and click in process, it will save this matrix in this in the folder I, I set it as my path. So you can open it later. To another analysis or to do any other thing you want you can open it in like in, in notebook in the notepad of genius you can open it so that's it for today guys I guess you guys so after this setting your computer up in the next tutorial we're gonna start to show you how to do some analysis, how to interpret it in genius. So thank you and bye.